welcome back to the Steve Rob Show. Today, we're going to have some fun. First off, I want to show you this right here. Guys, this is a, uh, a solar motion activated LED light. And I bought it at uh, Princess Auto. It was on sale regularly $49 for $39. And that is a smoking deal. First of all, I got a new shirt on. These guys take a look here. This is a special shirt right here. I don't know if these guys can get that in there. That's from Wyatt One Able. And here's the back. And guys, I'm gonna explain this. I'm gonna explain this whole shirt after this presentation. First of all, this uh, solar activated uh, LED light cordless uh, is gonna be mounted on my outhouse. And uh, I have a whole series on how to build an outhouse. I'll put a link in the description down there if you guys ever want to know how to uh, build an outhouse. And this light is going to go on the front of that outhouse. And it came with uh, some really nice screws and some drywall anchors. So I'm not exactly too sure uh, what the Wing Wang factory thought that uh, this place is going to be installed. But uh, no, it's not going in drywall. It's going in... Uh, going in wood. This is the unit right here and guys this is a pretty nifty deal there. It's got one of these uh, cob lights, one of these cob LEDs and I got it all charged up and on the back here which is really fascinating if you take a look right here there's an off and on switch and to waterproof that they stuck some uh, just a little plastic cover over top of just the switch. J just the uh, the movement of the switch and I thought that's pretty neat. It's got a uh, five kilometer uh, wind resistance you know with this uh, bracket here. It's uh, really heavy duty looks about maybe uh, 45 gauge steel and uh, yeah this thing here is going to be really sweet on the outhouse you're going to see it in the future and here's the solar panel that it goes with and guys I, I believe all of this was made out of recycled uh, Javax bottles I'm sure of it, and uh, it's, it's going to come in real sweet. Uh, it doesn't get much better than this. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the lights off in the shop, and I'm going to show you how bright this is. And uh, let's get to that right now. Okay, so I'm going to turn the uh, lights off right here. And uh, there we go right there, guys. There we are, right there. Like, is that not bright or what? Wow. Isn't that something else? I mean, that's not bad at all, eh? You take a look at that. Look at that right there. Is that just smoking deal or what? Okay, well, that's it. That's as far as you get. And uh, so you know you're guaranteed at least a 15 second uh, burst. And uh, is it going to come back on again? No, that's pretty well it, guys. It's done. So, <laughs> I mean, you are told to charge us up for three days. For three. For three days. I've been charging this bloody thing up. And it went on for 15 damn seconds. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. Well, you are... You're seeing this on the outhouse whether you like it or not. And you know what? I guarantee you next year I'll be making another presentation of the exact same stuff that we get from the Wing Bang Factory. Now normally they last longer than 15 seconds. But uh, yeah, that's pretty well it. So I really recommend... <laughs> This that's just a terrific unit, and uh, it's well it's well worth you know like going to your local store buying this thing for forty bucks. Imagine in America it's five bucks, and uh, you just you know chuck it in the garbage the day after. So that's pretty well it. So okay, so now I'm gonna move on to uh, my good buddy Wyatt One Able. And uh, you guys seen on the back here, uh, Band of Brothers. And uh, there's a very select uh, few of us that have these shirts, actually. And uh, no, we're not Hells Angels and that kind of stuff. 
But uh, yeah, there's a story behind this, and you really have to go back and look into my good buddy's uh, life there, Wyatt. For you guys who don't know, it's Wyatt Douglas. And uh, we're going to go back a couple of years, and we're going to talk a little bit, you know, about Wyatt. And Wyatt was born in uh, Aintree, Aintree, Tennessee, and uh, really terrific fella. The age of 12, I believe it was, uh, Wyatt decided to head out on his own and head out in America and uh, see all of America by rail. And, you know, that's pretty good, you know, at the age of 12, going out on your own and, you know, pretty well just grabbing the world right by the you-know-what and uh, riding the rails. And that's what he did. And by the age of 20, Wyatt would be considered probably a professional hobo. And... Uh, you know, there's not too many hobos left in America. And uh, at the time, you know, back then when Wyatt was riding the rails, uh, man, oh man, I'll tell you what, uh, yeah, there wasn't too many people that could uh, do that lifestyle. And of course, as time goes on, you know, he met Mrs. Douglas. And uh, 19, I believe it was 1957, he got married, settled down in the town of Bug Tussle, Tennessee. And from then on, history was made. And the one thing about Mrs. Douglas, she realized was, once you're a hobo, it's in your blood forever. You know, like once a hobo, always a hobo. So she decided that what she was going to do was kind of take Wyatt away from the hobo life as much as possible and set him on a new career. Well... They both headed off to, I believe, the town of Petticoat Junction, Tennessee, and they went to the Wright Brothers uh, Training School. And uh, guys, I'll tell you what, at the age of 20, I believe at the age of 20, Wyatt is still the youngest commercial pilot in Tennessee. So I thought that was pretty good. And when, when you think about it, really, um, how many people are in a career for 40 years as a commercial pilot? So th this is the type of stuff that you really don't see too often. And 40 years has passed, and Mrs. Douglas was so nice to contact me. I contacted her and let her know I was going to make this little bit of a tribute towards Wyatt. And she sent me a clip of Wyatt's first day at flight school and I'm going to show you this clip right now. just terrific or what? And you know what? Wyatt looks exactly the same today as he did way back then. I'd like to thank Mrs. Douglas again for uh, sending me along that clip. Now we're going to talk about this shirt here. Okay, so how did I get this shirt? Well, you know what guys? It's a pretty special honor to have this kind of shirt. There was a, a hobo convention going on last uh, August, I believe, in the town of uh, Hooterville, New York. And I just couldn't make that hobo convention. Yes, it was a hobo convention big time. And if you look on YouTube and you see one of these shirts, you know that they're an honorary hobo. So there you go right there. That's how I got the shirt. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, Wyatt for uh, sending me this shirt. It's quite an honor because uh, I'm the first Canadian to ever get a shirt like this. And I'm thinking, wow, that's pretty impressive to me. But... Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was kind of a bit of a surprise for me to get this shirt in the mail, and uh, just awesome. And you know what? When you, uh, when you think about Wyatt, you know, being a, uh, a commercial pilot, started off as a hobo, ended up as a commercial pilot. You know, guys, 
that's that's what dreams are made of. Now for me, I could never be a commercial pilot. I don't even like going up on a ladder 10 feet tall. So uh, no, for me, that's not it. But uh, whatever you are in life, just be the best of it you can be, and uh, that's your dream. I mean, uh, if you inspire, you know, people to do stuff in life, it's uh, it's an incredible thing, you know. And a lot of times, uh, you know, you think about sayings from way, way, way back from pretty impressive people. We can go back to uh, 1825, a famous quote by uh, a person was, if your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, you are a leader. And uh, guys like uh, Wyatt, well, they're leaders. And uh, that quote was from uh, the sixth president of the United States. And I hope you guys know who that is. John Quincy Adams. Yes, sir. -y. That's who it was. So thanks for joining in here today. And a uh, little bit of a talk about the uh, American hobo. <laughs> And uh, so proud to be a, uh, an honorary member. And uh, you guys come back again. If you've never seen this channel before, well, you're in for a treat. You get to see some fancy 15-second LED light action and uh, get to meet people like Wyatt. Check out the link below for uh, our buddy uh, Wyatt. And uh, pretty fancy LED light. Come back again, guys. Let's have some more fun. Cheers.